Good evening. <laughs> Sorry you've not seen me in a little while. I've been here. <clears throat> I've been, um, I haven't been a beer. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Um, I did do a homebrew Wednesday video, but when I played it back, it was awful because I did it in the kitchen and the backdrop <coughs> was creating all sorts of flicker which I couldn't clean up so I did upload it but I deleted it because it's rubbish so uh, there you go so yes um, I'm here excuse the hat I look like a bank robber don't I which reminds me a dyslexic uh, bank robber walks into a bank with a gun and says error in the hands mother stickers this is a fuck up hey <laughs> the old ones are the best I'm here all week so right a couple of little things I'm going to keep this video short um, I got an advent calendar yesterday I'm not going to show you the advent calendar because it's a big box <coughs> and well, it's too heavy to move about basically it's up in the attic uh, up in well, yeah, up in one of the attic bedrooms. Um, so it's an advent calendar that my missus, bless her, uh, has made up. She got me one last year. It was a German advent calendar, um, German beer advent calendar. But that was great, beautiful thought. I mean, it must have cost her a few quid. But it, the beers are predominantly just most of them were pilsners and not really my bag. But you know. So this year she has bought a box, bought 24 or maybe 25, don't know if there's one there for Christmas Day, and individually wrapped up various things. I'm presuming a lot of it's beer. Um, so I'm not going to do one every day, I doubt, but I'll show you some of the things that were in there. So bless her, there's little bags. I should have got one of the bags to show you, but don't matter. The little bags, and then the wrapped up. And she must have spent ages doing it. Spent a bloody fortune on it. God bless her. And yesterday was the first day. And I got this. And I love these kind of glasses. It's a Francis Garner glass. So I think she did buy it. I don't think she's robbed it from a pub. She did buy it, because she actually had to buy two. And I know how much they cost. I can't believe that she's gone to all this expense for me. And I got her um, a chocolate advent calendar for a tenner. Fucking hell, I'm sure she could do better than me. But then again, I'm drop dead gorgeous. Um, today, I got this in my advent calendar, which I opened this morning, stuck in the fridge. Camden Gentleman's Wit. So she's handpicked all the beers that she thinks I will like. And she knows me well enough to get the things that I'll like. I've never had this. And in fact, I didn't know Candom did. I think I've had a couple of those. I didn't know they actually did a wit. Um, so let's give it a crack. It's not going to be a beer review because I'm not very good at them. Not much of a hiss, <coughs> which is something I want to talk to you after. Not much of a hiss. Can you see it? No, don't think it's bottle conditioned. Um, so this is Pilsner, Pilsner with uh, malt, wheat malt, torrified wheat, and uh, Belgian wheat yeast, which will be the 3944, maybe, I don't know, or similar. Um, so it's very similar to the wit that um, I made. It uh, doesn't say with lemon zest and bergamot? What's fucking bergamot? B R G A M O T. I'll look it up. Thank you, my darling. Quite 
quite nice. Slightly more bitter than your average um, whip. That's slightly, only slightly. There isn't a sweetness there. You can taste the lemon. No coriander, I can't taste any coriander. Probably not in there. That's lovely. Very, very nice. Oh, thank you. God bless you. So, yeah, I'll be, um, well, every day, somewhat different. Okay, now. Where am I at? Right, okay. A couple of things. The hapless heifer v2.1 which i was supposed to bottle last weekend <coughs> after i did my brew which i'll tell you about in a minute i didn't get a chance and it's been chaos which is one of the reasons i'm really i've been struggling to get videos done but um wednesday's video which went persia it was only about three or four minutes long um <coughs> it's busy busy it's just that time of year at work um running around like a blue ass fly so I haven't bottled that yet and it's realistically going to be Sunday before I do so that will have been in the fermenter for uh, what three, three, three weeks now I always rack before I um, uh, bottle that'll be the one that I when I rack it I tip in the um, reserved wort that I took out that's been sat in the fridge so I've had a couple of issues I've got issues the last three drinks that I've done the uh, stick only been in the bottle for a week and a half something like that and <clears throat> I tried one a few days ago so it had been in the bottle for a week and um virtually no carbonation and I always try my beers a week in I know nowhere near but I always try just to see how they sort of which direction they're going virtually no carbonation nice taste all there um, but no carbonation the uh, what is it coconut lime chili whip which is in still in my conditioning fridge I haven't tried one in a week but after it had been in the bottle for what three or four weeks um three weeks four weeks again virtually no carbonation um i with both of those used um same I mean, carbonation drops is what i use when i don't reserve words i don't batch prime unless i'm reserving the word i've said but so i use um the um drops i always put a couple in or a couple of the smaller ones um, or one small one big either I always use the same amount um, never really have a problem with carbonation but that one nothing uh, it's a lemon uh, it's the coconut lemon lime no fuck me coconut lime chili whip no carbonation Pff, don't particularly care because it's crap beer don't like it don't like the flavour at all the um, when it does carb up I'll, I'll show you um, but it's don't taste very nice. I'm not happy with it. The um, chili is taken over the drink, which is strange because I thought it was going to be the um, coconut. So not happy with it. And before that, my cider, um, wobbly gob blood orange cider. Okay, virtually no carbonation. So same amount of sugar that I've always used. Same temperatures that I always condition at. Blah 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 blah. But any ideas? Hmm? There you go. Whatever. So, um, I'll just leave them. I'm sure they'll come good in the end, but it's slightly frustrating. So, um, yeah, I'll get the uh, V2.1 um, bottled this weekend. So I suppose I'll be able to drink that by Christmas. So if all of these condition out, okay, I'm going to have plenty of drink by Christmas. I did brew, as I said, at weekend. I'm not going to put the video up yet. I'm going to do a grain to glass type thing. And it's going down the road of a blue moon. Um, but I 
put in too much crystal and it's too dark and at the point the, when I um, basically just for a pitch these I tried to work very multi flavor so the um, you could taste anything else sweetness and the malt but that you can't judge it by that I've just took a little bit now and that is mellowing back and the uh, flavour of the um, coriander and orange is coming through. So we, let's watch this space, let's see, but it is moving towards a blue moon type thing. It's not a clone, it's just something I've sort of you know, hobbled together um, by looking at lots of other people's recipes and then coming up with something that I think may work. But it is going to be too dark, sure as shit. I've used a um, L yeast, uh, USO5 again, um, same that I used for the Stig. So yes, um, I'm hoping in the next week or two I'm going to have plenty of beer because at the minute I've got nothing to drink really. Um, I've got my V1 heifer which I was going to throw out, um, which is actually coming good-ish way too much carbonation which is to the other end of the spectrum and it's strange but um, it's drinkable but only just about drinkable um, so that's about it really I don't think there's anything more to discuss um, this is very nice I do apologize for the lack of videos I should do more but uh, it is what it is busy busy so have yourselves a lovely weekend, I will make some more videos, I'll show you what I get in my um, calendar and um, so it's not going to be a daily thing realistic, I'd love to, I'd love to do a little daily thing but yeah, I'm not going to get the chance so there you go, so great weekend, bing bong, over and out, catch you all soon.